Well, he hell, can you ruddy believe it? It seems it may be the end of Xbox as we've come to ruddy know it. What? Well, with the latest news that they are letting their exclusives move on to their biggest rivals' platforms, surely the writing is on the wall, and in the near future they will be joining the likes of Atari and Sega and go from console manufacturing powerhouses to third-party game developers. Room for one more. And look, I'm neither against it or for it, as I stopped being a one console ruddy fanboy many, many moons ago. Hell, the games that made me adore the Xbox in the first ruddy place have all but lost any semblance of what they once were. And nothing that gets announced seems to tickle my pickle enough to get me proper hard. Stop it. So, I really don't care about staying faithful to one ruddy system. He's out of line, but he's right. The days of the console wars are kinda over, and people just want to enjoy the best video games with as little hassle as possible. He ain't lying. Personally, I've always stuck with Xbox sheerly due to the feel of the controller, as well as my unwavering nostalgic memory and love for the god tier Xbox 360. But in hindsight, Microsoft seemed to have peaked back then and never really recovered from all their mistakes they made with their next console, the good old Xbox One. How dare you! Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't come at me. I do like my Xbox One backwards compatibility, Game Pass, and all that jazz. But feck me, is there very little to play on it, especially when concerning exclusives? He ain't lying. Then we got the Series X, and it looked like they may be back on track. But then we got the news that the majority of games for the foreseeable future could be played on older hardware, meaning that if you didn't care about slightly shinier visuals and faster load times, well, then there was no reason to shell out for Microsoft's new system. So you might as well just have saved your money for a few beers at your local. Uh, I'm not an alcoholic. And yeah, sure, nowadays there are a few games that can only be played on their new blocky fridge Fandango, but these have only just started to release and very few are exclusive to the Series X. So what's the ruddy point in investing in the console? No! It's just dumb. Personally though, it just seems Xbox doesn't really care about making good games anymore. Their killer IPs like Halo and Gears have been mistreated, mishandled, and straight up abused to the point that they are a shadow of their former selves. And also lifelong fans of these franchises just couldn't give a flying. Don't you dare say it. All this combined with flops like Redfall and the lukewarm reception to Starfield probably hasn't helped their cause all that much either. And I don't know what they're ruddy doing. It just seems that their current strategy is just to buy up every ruddy big name publisher they can and pray for the ruddy future. But is it too little too late? When is this move actually going to pay off as the Series X has been out a while now and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to look forward to? Shut your mouth! I'm of the drunken mindset that of instead of acquiring the likes of Activision and co, I would rather see Microsoft go out and purchase a bunch of IPs and give long awaiting fans the sequels or remakes they bloody deserve. Yeah, screw buying Activision solely for Call of Wankfest, purchase the rights to Blur and Singularity instead. Hell, even Microsoft themselves seem to forget they own Conquer and Banjo and a ruddy lot more. Franchises that are adored by most of the gaming community, yet they are left to rot in favour of just consuming other publishers and releasing jack sheet in the meantime. Marvel. God damn, I miss the days of the 360. That period for Xbox was truly goated. And yeah, sadly now it just seems this could be the end of Xbox as we ruddy know it. They are not going away anytime soon, yet they may not be in the console market for all that much longer. Maybe it's a really smart business move just letting your games move on to other platforms and making some bees and honey in the process. But as a gamer that witnessed the birth of the Xbox, it all feels a little bit wrong. Anyway, that's my little rant over. What are your thoughts on what's going on with Xbox? Let's have a good old chinwag down below. B 
be sure to check out all of our Xbox Hidden Gems videos to see the best games you may have missed from yesteryear. Like, subscribe, if you can be asked, but more importantly, you guys just stay tipsy.